Greetings. Um, this video focuses on kind of a minute aspect of what's going to happen during the Super Bowl, and it's focused on what Dan Quinn's relationship is like with the owner of the team and the decision making that might go with it. So the reason I decided to do this uh, video is that I believe that there was one play during the Pittsburgh game um, against the Patriots that, that sort of defined the game. In that play, um, Mike Tomlin had a fourth and seven from the 40 yard line and he had a choice between going for it or punting the ball away and hoping he'd get it back. Um, they were already down 10 points and when they punted it back to Brady, uh, Brady brought it back down the field and scored a touchdown. And so that decision ended up deciding that game. Why this is big in this case with Dan Quinn is that Bill Belichick can experiment with the playbook either on the defensive or offensive side of the ball. And there are four circumstances that will likely decide this game. Number one is, will Dan Quinn and company go for a two-point conversion or not if they need to to get a win or get closer? Number two, um, will they blitz enough to put pressure on Brady to limit his effectiveness? And that obviously is a risk that you could get burned on. And then the third issue is, what is he going to do um, on fourth and less than five or six? Will he punt the ball away or will he hang on to it? So the answer to these questions, I think, will decide uh, firmly what's going to happen in Super Bowl. Um, I believe the way it's going to play out is that um, Belichick on all of these really doesn't ha care what the owner has to say because he has so many wins and he has the backing of the owner for any of the decisions he might make in that regard. In Dan Quinn's case, I think he's going to end up choosing the conservative alternative, which you couldn't argue with, um, that he made that call. For example, punting it away on fourth and five versus trying to get the first down. And I believe that um, at this point, um, if you were to grade, you know, the offense of Atlanta is one of the best in the NFL. Their defense is okay, but not that great. So what this means is that the longer you can keep your offense that's excellent on the field, the more tired the other side gets, and the better the chance you have to score. So in this case, Dan Quinn's offense is as much his defense as his defense is because Tom Brady is excellent and their best chance to win is by keeping the ball and trying to score as much as possible. Um, part of the reason I'm predicting, you know, that the Patriots easily win this game is that Dan Quinn is going to have to make three or four decisions during the game. And I believe those decisions are going to swing towards the conservative side. And if you want to read more on this, the Wall Street Journal um, actually has an article about how and why um, many NFL coaches keep making the same decisions that end up costing them games and getting fired. The featured article is on Rex Ryan, and in Rex's case, he had a situation where with four minutes to go against um, Miami, he had a choice of going for it on fourth down or punting the ball away and hoping to get it back so his team could score. He chose to punt the ball away. Um, the, uh, they never got the ball back. They lost the game, and he was fired the next morning. So Dan Quinn will not get fired because of his um, uh, success that he's had in year two. Um, I do believe, though, that um, he's going to want to take the conservative route, and I think the decision on whether or not this game is won is going to come down to will Dan Quinn have the cojones to make difficult calls like uh, the two-point conversion, like whether to go for it on fourth down or not. And if he chooses the conservative route, I think that he gets beat and beat badly. If he takes some risks, I think the Atlanta Falcons could actually win this game, but only if he's willing to step outside the box because um, Bill Belichick is green-lighted to do it anything he wants based on the success he's enjoyed, but Dan Quinn is not green-lighted for that. 
because he doesn't have the security of a long amount of winning and Super Bowls to do it. So I am not a Patriots fan. I tend to root against them. But in this game, I believe this is another example of the Belichick and Patriots advantage where they're free to use the whole playbook and take risks that um, Dan Quinn won't be able to, one, because he's a rookie to the space of the Super Bowl, and two, because he doesn't have the earned green light from his owner to make difficult calls like this. Enjoy, and uh, we'll talk again.